Hi guys, so in this video, I will be discussing about Polya's 4 steps in problem solving. So the 4 steps of Polya's problem solving are First, understand the problem Second, devise a plan Third, carry out the plan And fourth, look back So in the first step, which is to understand the plan is you have to read and understand the problem identify what is the given information know the data or values and what is the unknown and to be solved as required by the problem and the second step which is to devise a plan you have to think of a way to solve the problem by setting up an equation drawing a diagram and making a chart that will help you find the unknown and the solution then in the third step, which is to carry out the plan, is you have to solve the equation that you have set up and observe analytical rules and procedures until you arrive at the answer. And the final step, which is to look back. So in order to validate the obtained value, you need to verify and check if the answer makes sense or correct based on the situation posed in the problem. And you have to label your final correct answer. So I will give you an example. So let's take this problem. Find the next number in the sequence 9, 5, 13, 17, 21, and 25. So in order to solve this problem, you could use Polya's four steps in problem solving. So let me explain it. So, I have right here a sheet of paper that I will be using in order to properly explain this problem. So, I have written here already the first step, which is to understand the problem. So, what I did here is I wrote the given information from the problem, which are 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, and 25, and the required information or the missing information is is the next number in this sequence so we will now proceed to the next step which is to devise a plan so as you can see here uh, the sequence has a pattern the pattern is from the first term to the next and so on they have a gap of 4 units so like 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 9 plus 4 is equal to 13 13 plus 4 equals 17 17 plus 4 equals 21 21 plus 4 equals 5 so what we're going to do is to devise a plan in order to find what is the missing term so that plan would have to be written in this way First, and the second term, is equal to 5 plus 4 because that is the pattern that, which is 3 plus 4, you can, see, you, can, you can start to see the pattern, you can start to see the term. Plus four. four, plus four, plus four, then the sixth term, which is also equal to seventeen plus four, then which is twenty-five, and it's also equal to twenty-one, and so by this plan that we have devised we can find the next term in the sequence. So, we will now proceed to the third step, which is to carry out the plan. So, in order to represent this in a understandable format, we can use a different table. So, we will write out the different table right now, four units. So, we can be sure that the next term would also have 
4 units of difference from the last term which is 25. So we can conclude what is the last and corresponding term. We can conclude that since um since the common difference is 4 therefore the next number in the sequence is drum roll please 29 yay <laughs> and now we would have to go to the last step which is to look back In this step, you would just have to write the sequence with the missing information along with it. So, we could say that the answer is, you would have to write the sequence first. So, 5, 9, 13, let me fix that, 17, 21, 25, and the missing number which is 29 and that's it that's all it takes and so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and you learned something from this discussion and i'll see you guys in the next video